bin after bin. Mary said she would put a small one together. Stack upon stack, Sandy Donatelli and Vanessa Picard are sorting through thousands of squares knitted by people as close as Pittsburgh and as far away as Germany and delivered to this small yarn shop in Oakmont. I just never thought it would go that big. We did keep a library of everything, their name, their email, their address, and how many squares they made so that eventually we will post a list, a whole list so people can go through mm -hmm. and see, you know, that we do recognize and we do appreciate it. The Tree of Life Afghan project started small. On the day of the tragedy, Vanessa's nine-year-old daughter took comfort in her childhood blanket. She wanted the victim's friends and family to feel the same way. So I thought about it a little bit later that night, and I sat down and I made the first square for the Tree of Life um, blanket project, not thinking it was a project or anything, just thinking, okay, I'll make a square and then thinking, okay, that just took eight hours. <laughs> now I don't want to do 30 more of these necessarily by myself, so I took a picture of the square and put it on Facebook, hoping that some of my friends who knit would maybe help me out with a square or two. Um, and my idea was just one blanket. Store manager Natalie Belmont reached out to customers, too. Then she te texted me the next day, and she said, I think we might be able to make a blanket for every family who was affected. And I thought, wow, that, that would really be amazing. And within a couple days, uh, she sent me another text saying, um, yeah, this, is, this has gotten huge. And I was like, well, what do you mean? She said, like, viral big. And I said, no, <laughs> knitting doesn't go viral. <laughs> it, just, it just doesn't go viral. And so she said, no, viral as in viral as in over 20,000 hits. Three months later, there are enough squares for at least 50 blankets. Most of them are five squares across, six squares down. It's a lot of sewing. Customer Amy Jonas stopped by to volunteer to help seam the squares together. She's a former member of Tree of Life. If you bundle it up and say, here's three blankets, return them in two weeks or whatever, you know, yeah. I could totally do that at home. It won't be easy. Matching up a rainbow of colors and coordinating the designs from hearts to stars of David. Slightly different sizes, even a few mistakes. We're not going to discard any right. square and if we have to make extra squares or put a call out for, you know, yeah. come by, we have the yarn. Right. Just sit, in sit and make a couple squares to go around this mm -hmm. oddball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then that's what, we're that's what we'll do. Some squares are special. A beautiful blue square with a crocheted Star of David and Dove of Peace will anchor a blanket for the baby whose naming ceremony was interrupted by news of the shooting. Another square with a complicated stranded color work tree of life will center a blanket for the family of the Rosenthal brothers. A large number of squares bear that same tree pattern. Vanessa borrowed it with permission from a professional knitter's design. You see other trees of life and they're usually on their own. I liked that there were two. I picked it because I thought you have the Jewish community and then you have the rest of us. And I like that the branch is intertwined and it showed that we really are connected and you can't affect one without affecting the other. Many squares came with personal notes. One was written by a California woman who said she knitted in honor of her parents who survived the Holocaust. So it's so, cathartic for people. It really is. I really think it's, it's helped a lot of people just feel like we don't have to sit around and wring our hands when something bad happens. We, we can do something and we can show that people are better than this.